composition sheet. Our first question here, to find the area of the shapes. Let's find the area of the shapes. We have, first one is a circle. What is the area of a circle? Do you remember what is the rule of area of circle? Area of circle equals pi r squared. Okay, so by we can assume by by 3.14 or only 3. So by is 3.14 and this is fix multiplies r or the radius is 8. Here the radius is 8. So multiplies 8 square. What's the mean of 8 square or 8 power 2? What does this mean? It means 8 multiplies 8. So here 3.14 multiplied 8 multiplied 8 will equal or 3.14 multiplies 8 multiplies 8 is 64. 8 multiplies 8 is 64. So this will equal 200.96 feet square. Don't forget the unit. Okay, let's take the second circle here. We have here diameter is 9. This one, this one here, this one, it's not radius, it's diameter. This one is not radius. So how we can find radius from diameter? We said before you take the diameter and divide it by 2. This will give you the radius is 4.5. Okay? So now let's put our rule. Area of circle equals by r square. Okay, r here is the radius. We got the radius 4.5. So area we complete here area equals pi is pi is 3.14 this multiplies r is 4.5 4.5 square means i will multiply 4.5 by itself two times okay so to find this answer let's go for our next question we have here trapezoid how we can find the area of trapezoid Area of trapezoid equals, we said before, that it equals to, I will add the two base together, we have one base and second base, so we will add the two base together, of base 1 plus base 2, this one multiplies by the height, okay? So here, where is the height? The height is this line, is this line. This line is the height, okay? So the height here is equal 8 inch. So P1 is 19, P2 is 15. Let's add them together. So this equals half multiplies 19 plus 15 equals 34 and this multiplied by height 8 so the answer will be 136 inch square let's go next we have here triangle we need to find the area of triangle what is our rule for area of triangle area of triangle equals half base multiplies height where is the base? Where is the height? This is the base and this is the height. A is 7.8 and B is 4.7. So, area equals half base multiplies, multiplies B 4.7 A or the height is 7.8. 7 so, this is 
Multiplication. The relation here is multiplication. Okay. Area of triangle will equal 18.33 millimeter square. Let's go next. We need to find the area of a square. What is our rule for area of a square? Area of a square equals unit width by length. Okay, so this is the, the side for the square. It's the same, so it will be 5.8 multiplies 5.8 and this will equal 300. This will equal 33.64 millimeter square. Let's go for the rectangle. Area of rectangle is equals to width multiplies length also. So here we have the width is 4, length is 8.4. So area equals 8.5 multiplies 4, 34 and to square. Okay, let's go next. We have here area. Find the area of a circle if radius is equal to 5 and take pi with 3.14. Our rule here is area of circle equals pi r square. Okay, how much is r? 5 by 3.14 so by is 3 3.14 multiplies r is 5 square 5 squares means 5 multiplies 5 so 3.14 multiplies 5 multiplies 5 the answer will be 78.5 units square okay because here no unit. Let's go next. Find the area of a circle if D equals 16. Here it's D. D is diameter, not radius. So first we need to find the radius from the diameter. Radius equals D divided 2 or the diameter divided 2. 16 divided 2 equals 8 so let's put our rule a equals pi r square pi is 3.14 multiplies r r with 8 square so that's mean 8 multiplies 8 so it will be 200.96 unit square there is a shape, it's not in the revision, but this shape is important. The parallelogram, if I have parallelogram like this one. So how can I find the area of a parallelogram? The important that I need the, I need the height. The height is from the verticals up to the base down, okay? If I have 5, is I have, if I have height is 2 and the base is 5. So how can we find the area here? Area for parallelogram is equals base multiplies height. So base is 5, multiplies height is 2. This will equal 10 units square. Okay. So I take the height and the base. Here, this is a composite figure. We said before to solve composite figure, we need to cut the figures into shapes so here i will cut from here decline from here so i will cut here so i have shape one and shape two so here i need to find area for shape one will equals what is the area this is a rectangle so what is the area of rectangle height by height by base or width by length so how we will do it 
we have here this tank, but I don't know what is the land here. So what is the land here? We can find it by, this is 12. Okay, this is 31. And we will assume that this part here is equals to here, so 31 minus 12 equals 19. So this length is 19. The area one equals, or area for shape one equals 10 multiplies 19. This is 190. Okay, you're in square. Area two, let's clear all of this so we will find area two. Area 2 here equals 31 multiply this height. So here, how we can find this one? We have this one, 10, equals here 10. So 10 minus 33 is 23. So this height is 23. Area 2 here will equals, will equals 23 multiply 30. One is seven hundred thirteen unit square. So the total area will equal area one plus area two. So one hundred nineteen plus seven hundred seven thirteen. This will equal nine hundred three unit square. Let's go next one. Same here, I will put a line to cut the shape like this. So I have two shapes, one and two. Area one and area two. Let's find area one. Area one equals, area one equals 28 multiply this height. How we can find this height? We have the full height is 23. After cutting the shape to two parts, so we will call it part 1 and part 2. Let's find the area of part 1 and area of part 2. We have area 1 here. Okay, equals length by width. So we have 28. Okay, we have 28 here. And we need to find this part, how we can find this one? We have the full one is 23 minus 9 equals 14. So this one equals 14. So area 1 lies 14. This equals 392. Okay. Area 2 equals, we have this 9. And we need this length. How we can find this one? We have 14 minus 28. Or 28 minus 14. So this line equals 14. Here will be 9 multiplies 14 equals 126. So total area equals area 1 plus Area 2. Where is area 1 here? Area 1 is 392 plus area 2, 126. This equals 518 units squared.